Hello everyone, this is Yamin and welcome to Laravel e Project Tutorial for Beginner. So in this tutorial, we are going to show the product data from the database table. So here you can see some product data and this is just some static data and we are going to show those data from the database table and that table will be product. This one. Okay. So right now make sure that you are logged out, not logging. So first of all, we will show the product while the user is not logged in. So here this view is coming from, let me just go to the core, we will go to routes, then web.php and here you can see the root view is coming from the home controller, home function. So right now, if we just go to app, then http controller and here you can see home controller and in the home controller we have the home function and from the home function we are returning this view home.index which is in the resource views here you can see home folder in the home folder we have index.plate.php so right now what we can do is that from the home controller we are going to send the product data so here we are going to declare a variable but before that let me just go to the index.plate.php then here you can see home.product so we'll go to our product.plate.php which is in the home folder. So we'll go there and here you can see the product that we are seeing in the browser. So we'll just only keep only one product data here and we'll remove other data from here. So let's go back to the code and let's say we'll only keep the first one. So here you can see deep class called SN6. Call md4, call lg3. So this div index over here. So we only keep this div and we remove other divs. So let me just select those and go down. And it will end, I think, over here. Let me just check it. Uh, this div there will keep on the power here and we'll also remove this div and let's also remove this view all product as well let's save it and right now if we refresh there you can see we have only on product right now so let's go back to our controller we'll go to our home controller and from here we are going to send all the product data so first of all in the home controller at the top we need to mention our product table model length so here we are going to say use and backslash models backslash product and after that we'll go down and let's say here dollar product this is a variable we are going to mention the product model name which is product double clone all we'll get all the product data after it we need to send this product data to this view so for it we say here comma compact and it will be product let's set this so right now let's go to our home.index if we go to our home.index here you can see it included the home.product so we'll be able to get this product in the product.blade.php so here what we are going to do is after this row we are going to mention a for each loop so there we are going to say at the end of for each to first bracket dollar product as dollar product and this for each loop will int over here. So we say here at the end of int for each. And let's save it and let's say here dollar product as dollar product. And after this, here you can see we have the image box. Then here you can see this is the product title, ring, price, and this is new. This new is for this one. Let me just remove that new from here. Uh, let me just remove this div from here okay and uh, let me just write it like this so that it's easier to read okay so right now here we want the product title so in order to get the product title we'll give to second bracket and here you can see we write over here dollar product as dollar products so let me just copy this we'll paste it here then this arrow sign and for product title in the database table, we write one here title. So here we are going to say title, and this will be the price, order price. So here uh, we'll keep the dollar sign here, then we'll give to second bracket, then we'll say here dollar products, then this arrow sign, and in the database, let me just show you. 
the price is written over here like this price so we are going to say here price right now if we said then refresh here there you can see there's a lot of product and we are able to see the title and the price title and price so let's go and get the image as well so for it there you can see image source so in this image source we store our images in the public products folder so here we are going to say products then backslash we keep to second bracket and then we are going to mention this dollar products there this arrow sign and we give the image name which will come from the database table it will now say then refresh there you can see we are seeing different image in different box so right now if we just log in then it will give us an error let me just show you if i now click on login and login as a user here then click on login there you can see undefined variable dollar products because we write the code when the user is got logged in and here you can see the user is logged in over here slash dashboard and here if we go to web.php here you can see we have the slash dashboard route over here written like this so instead of writing it like this we are going to write it like this one so here what we are going to do is let me just copy this then paste it here where we will say the route name will be dashboard then here let me just copy this from middle at to this part control x and control v so let me just remove this so here in this home controller we are going to say home controller class let's say it will be login login underscore home let's set this so right now let's go to our home controller and let me just create this function so let me just go to the phone controller and here I am going to say public function login underscore bone to first bracket then to second bracket and over here what we are going to do is I am just going to copy this and paste it here save it then if we now refresh it will not give us any error there you can see currently we are logged in and here we are also able to see all the products so in the next tutorial what we will do is that whenever we click on the product it will take us to different page and there it will show all the product details it means in the different page we will be able to see the product description category quantity everything okay so this is all thank you very much for watching if you have any question or any suggestion just let me know in the comment section make sure to subscribe and i hope to see you in the future tutorials